that's right, we're in two town. Okay. We're we just got out of one and now the one district and now we're in two town. Oh. Oh. There we go. I have to get the controls again. Oh, no. No. There we go. See, that's the only thing about like doing it once a week. I'm shelling crispy twigs here. Crispy twigs to track. Answer your questions. Yes. Business is slow. Crispy twigs. Okay. Sock two packs, one for each of you. It's the perfect pair. Hmm. The perfect pair. <laughs> Whoa, hello. Sorry. Let's see, work at home again, and that's been nice. Oh, good. Good. Yeah, working from home is nice. It's really nice. Um, what is going on here? Yeah, I started working at Target again. Um, I love it. I've worked for Target multiple times, so it's a job. I'm in the tech department, and then also seasonal, I think they're going to put me in. Um, so stuff I know. And I like seasonal because it rotates out all the time in the tech. I love tech and games and all that stuff. So it all works. Let's see, I was supposed to stream Portal tonight, but I accidentally broke my webcam. Oh no, what happened? How'd you break it? What is this? Super juice is the only juice with soup. What is Zoop? Do I even want to know? Ooh, I can talk to you. Oh. I need inspiration. I'd trade my Gobble Gregor for a flash of genius. I'm through Pipkin, by the way. I am an artist, but not with paints or music. My art is the art of trading, and I want to push the art forward. Trading Gobble Gregors is so routine. I want to trade something that hasn't been traded before. Say, you wouldn't be willing to trade for that costume your friend is wearing, are you? I figured. Probably wouldn't fit too many folks anyway. Plus, people have traded costumes before. If you ever have anything to trade, you'll come see me, right? Especially something unusual. Excellent. Keep your eyes peeled. Huh. Okay. Weird. Help! Help! I'm being attacked by robots. Save little Joe. Okay. Huh? I got a fifty percent off sale. Well, That's get twice as cheap. The price cost me eight. The heart of Two Town was yeah. even greater and bigger and scarier. And in the most outlandish stories she'd heard the Junkers tell in one Croft. Hmm. Hi! Hello! Indubitably, we're twins. We finish each other's sentences. We double each other's happiness. <laughs> we share each other's They're actually kind of cute. <gasps> Thank you, kind of smallish. Wait, 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 what? What? You said we share each other's husbands. Yep, I don't. You've been kissing my husband? Uh, oh my god, two-timer! It's double the fun. Please excuse us. We need to talk about this. Sorry. Oh no, that is no good that you snapped the wire. That is not good. Oh, that stinks. I like the desks that stand up, but no, that- Oh, I am so sorry. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. Yeah, it's a game I found on Game Pass. Um, it kind of reminds me of if Tim Burton and D&D &D had a baby. 
uh, like a strategy slash platform game. Um, it's really interesting, but very Tim Burton fied. Like even some of the animation, I'm like, I would not be surprised if some of the animators worked on this that worked on Nightmare Before Christmas. Get your food here. I've only hit dice to scribe to the kid, but that cost you dead Hi, on. I'm Harry Twofold. Bye, Harry Twofold. All right. That's a spiffy dice costume, kid. <laughs> My grandmother told me about him. Come here, little Joe. All right. All right. Oh boy, really more? All right, we have a full hand, y'all. All right, let's see. Critical 20. And cheat cam either, and I just can't replace the wire. That's cool. Glad you guys are having Game Pass. Jay, you need to check out Dreamlight Valley. It's a Disney. Oh, ooh, Dreamlight Valley. I will do. Oh, let's see. What do I want to do? Well, let's do an elixir. Wait, what's that? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, three. That works. Uh, there we go. Gonna step out for wait, hold on. It's kind of like the Disney version of Animal Crossing is actually quite fun. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna have to definitely have to check that out. And you're gonna step out for a bit, maybe turn look a little bit. Have fun with your stream and happy birthday. Thank you so much, Space Hawk. It was good talking to you, and I'm so glad you guys enjoyed your Disney trip. 
um yeah that is so cool and you know it's already decided we are gonna go to disney the three clans nitro's clan your clan and our clan um because i think that just has to be done now um and we're gonna get cross and nitro on the roller coaster and get one of those roller coaster pictures of them screaming their heads off that's what we're gonna do all right take care oh, here we go uh let's see do, do, do. all right y'all whoa all right we're gonna have a full hand there we go Woo. keep getting ones and twos man there we go Blessed by the dice wheelers where the cost of each card in Eva's hand is decreased by one token card. Yep, that's it. There we go. Everything's a one now. Uh let's do that. Ray. And let's do a bomb. Alright. Yeah, that was awesome. There we go. My bacon there, kid. You're welcome. Look, let me repay you with a deal. I'm looking to trade a weird looking four sided skull for a gobble -grager. That'll be just the thing I need to gobble -greg my way out of future robot trouble. What do you say, kid? You don't know what a gobble -greger is? Ah, forget it then, kid. But, you know, do come back if by any chance you happen to find one. Don't know what a double Gregor is? Ah, forget it then, kid. But do come back if by any chance you happen to find one. Okay. Well, I will go back. I must have said the wrong thing. I wanted to know if he'd give me information for one, but apparently not. Uh, alright. Was him, right? I love the upside downtown. It's a whole second to town. And I can't stand them. I hate that stupid thing. It's a huge mistake. Sorry, you must have been speaking to my other half. I hate it. By which I mean it rules. Oh boy. Yeah, that's kind of my whole thing. But one thing will always remain consistent. My love for the upside downtown. It's beautiful and great and... I hate it. Worst idea we ever had. Brilliant in both conception and execution. A disaster in waiting <laughs> that will... Make everyone happy. To die one day so that they can escape this horrible monster city and then go to heaven which will be exactly like the new upside downtown okay. okay have a nice and depressing day oh boy you are just wow okay i want to see there's the ghost hold on I want to see if I can get a Grubble Grigger, but I can't find the person who... Is it this way? 
Oh, it was him. Okay, let me see. Not the one. You wouldn't happen to have anything, would you? A word? Now that's interesting. I've never traded in words before. This could be a whole new marketplace. What's the word? Oh, I've heard that before. It's a common phrase, and common things don't have value, I'm afraid. No, I can't do anything with that. No trade, kid. Hmm. My stock is twice as good as the competition. They've recently made their stock twice as good. So, Trump, mine get is your twice fresh as twice Trump. as good. Right out of the tube. That's for two. Interesting. All right. Well, I'll just keep on going, just in case I ever do find a Gobble Burger. That is such a creative dice costume. No way, Ronaldo. Are you saying there's words for sale? Who wants oh. to buy a word? Oh, here we go. Here's one for free. Syzygy. Okay. Let's go back. Let's see. You wouldn't happen to have a word? Now that's interesting. I've never traded in words before. This could be a whole new marketplace. What's the word? Yeah. Let me see if I can go to her, because if she's selling words, maybe I can make all these trades. But she didn't talk to me. for sale here. Choice words. Pluriophile. It means lover of rain. <laughs> That's just a free sample. Who wants to buy a word? I got Cliniomania looking for a good home here. It means wanting to stay in bed. Alright. Let's try it. Happen to have a word? Now that's inch. Nope. All right. Well, maybe I could do it later. Cause it's not letting me talk to her. Oh. Kid. Got a sale on Bucolic right now if you're interested. I am, but you won't let me talk to you. Hmm. Alright. Ooh. Interesting. Sealed shut, and only a roll of a three would open it. But Evans' friend was one dot short. He could only roll a one and a two. Oh. And Evan would have to find a way to upgrade him. Strange. What's up with these little guys? Well, I wonder if they can fix you. 
That's why you can only roll a one or a two. That makes sense now. Oh boy. Roll your dice and defeat all enemies. It's that simple. You're stuck in a giant board game. This is a special type of encounter where, in order to win, you must complete an objective. The goal of this board game is simple. Bring the playing piece to the end tile. Rolling dicey, the playing piece will take an amount of steps equal to the roll's result as soon as you unfreeze time. When the playing piece lands on this tile, a slow time bubble will spawn there. Any adversaries or projectiles caught inside will be slowed down. Land the playing piece here and a treasure bird comes flying over the arena. Shoot it to make it drop its treasure. Tip. Is a fight too challenging? Change the combat difficulty in the menu. Okay. Okay. So I need to get it here. Okay, I get it. Alright. Though Dicey was affecting the giant the board game. Another one. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, another one. Slow time bubble has appeared. I love that slow motion, man. It's just like, oh. Oh, there it is. Ooh. That's actually 
actually kind of fun. <laughs> Another one. All right. Uh. Hey, there we go. That's something. Oh boy. Just a one, really. Oh, okay. We'll do this. Another one. Alright. Okay, where are you? Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Okay. Nice, we're almost there, y'all. Alright, where is the bomb? Oh, here, let's get everyone this way. Nice! Look at that! Yes! all the birds away. Because these guys I can deal with. It's those annoying birds that are just trouble.
okay. Game Master, if a board game piece is present, it moves one additional tile, then draw a new card. Cool. Got a new card. Let's see. Let's see what's around here. Who are you? Hello! Can I interest you in a potion? Wait a minute. I don't know you. I only sell potions to my regular customers. I don't give out my art willy-nilly. You're not from around here, are you? You must feel lost. It would be logical to give her a summary of the town that she finds herself in. I was getting to that. Jeez. <clears throat> it would be logical of me to give you a summary of the town you find yourself in. <coughs> As you may have noticed, we're big into duality here. Even though no it has kidding. its not unsubstantial downsides. By the card makers, I'm speaking, Jorid. Split personality, though ours is more unfortunate than most. Jared and I don't agree on very much these days. Ah, a keen question suggesting a logical mind. Everyone in Two Town is split, but it's not always the same way. I am fated to always be battling my other half, but even on my worst days, I know that it's fair. We battle it out and it's a great system. As you can see, Jorid and I are in conflict a lot. We want different things in, in business, in life, in love. In that some of us don't want love because it's an illogical distraction. And some of us want to get mad kissy. Also, we are at loggerheads over the direction of our business. Hmm. But not for long. I am working on a potion to decide this once and for all. Yes, a potion to decide who is in charge. Whoever drinks it will be the leader once and for all, regardless of what the dice say. Which will be me. You misspoke. As anyone could clearly see that I am intended to be the one in charge. If you simply reason it out, you'll see that, you know what? I have had it with your condescending and your precious logic. An emotional and frankly embarrassing response, dare I say, Cringe-worthy? Ugh, you two enjoy talking. I'm out of here. La 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 la, can't hear you. La 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 la, can't hear you. Ah, we have a few moments of privacy. There is one thing. That potion I mentioned. I need ingredients to finish it. And I'm afraid time is of some matter because my partner is working on a similar potion. One that will lock me out for good. It's logical, therefore, that I finish my potion first. So, if you'd be so kind as to find what I need before that happens, I would appreciate it. I can barely hear you with these fingers in my ears, but that sounded like a yes? Excellent. I require three blues. Unremarkable organisms distinguished by their loud screams. Listen for their sounds, and you'll find them. And don't worry about harvesting them for my experiments. My research indicates that it is actually quite ethical and logical for me to do this. And don't worry, a 
about harvesting them for me. Think of them like little vegetables, which, due to their particular evolution, know how to scream. It's all very logical. Oh, and there's a mighty reward in it for you. In conclusion, what I've said is highly intriguing, and if I were you, I'd go find those bloobs. Promptly. Farewell, kind stranger. Here, a bloob. Perfect! Uh, listen, before you go, that potion that we're working on, I need ingredients first to finish it. Because as soon as he gets control again, my partner is going to invent a potion to lock me out for good! There's no stopping him. It's logical! So, you know, if you'd be so kind as to find what I need before that happens, I'd be much obliged. Perfect! Oh, perfect! Okay. I'm two-timing them. So we're in two town. Same as him, but you need to give them to me. Oh, and uh, there's a reward in it for you. I know, it's so intriguing. If I were you, I'd go find those ingredients to discover what it is. <laughs> hmm. Alright, well, I need to find bloops. I have no idea what a bloop is, but apparently they can scream. So, that's gonna be fun. Alright. Oh, yay! One of the card people, guys. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Dicey turns into a ticking bomb. He'll explode in nine seconds. Uh, the spirit of Two Town manifests in the shape of a hammer. Press X to whack. Hold X for a spinning attack. Ooh! Summon the Witch of the Valley's Bubble Shield fully. Summon a clock that slows down adversity is caught in its pocket in Dimension. Okay, well let's definitely do this one. A golden pin can be used in the dice mention using up it up to save a card in your hand until the next time the dice is rolled. The more pins you have- That's cool! I love it. Uh, let's do a defense. I need more defenses. Uh, cool. Uh, what's the super elixir? Um, what's this one? Mateus Ball. Summon a healing bell that heals the dice wielder when she is nearby this bell. 25. Summon the Witch of the Valley's Bubble Shield. Let's do this one. Have you? No, oh, never mind. Trade it here for a new one with me. Oh, many dicks. Nope, okay, we're good. The number two come to random, and no, it was good. Oh dear, do I ever shut up? And lo, did the number two inspire all to praise the queen for twice as long. And lo, did the queen bless us with not one, but two towns and two moons rather than simply the falling one. Hmm. And lo, did my other side have nothing of interest to bring to you? Why, you could I as my side? Even knew that the door wouldn't open until Dicey had a third pip. Which was good, because it saved me from having to repeat myself. Hmm. Well, someone has to know how to get the pip on him. I mean, I, I, not understanding what the problem is, but that's a just dice, child. Yes, you, you, child. I believe we can be useful to each other. No, nor are you. But the threads of fate weave strange fabrics indeed. 
You see, I have noticed that you have a dice with you. Right. A good act, child. You'll need your wits to survive what's coming, I'd wager. So, let's say, hypothetically, you have a dice. Which, of course, you don't. Mm -hmm. Which means you, hypothetically, have experience in their identification and the true nature. I've heard tell of a dice circulating Celestry. Of course, it's been so long since a true dice has been here. People don't entirely recognize it for what it is. And if these rumors were true, well, I dare say you could be the one to find it. The folks dimly sense it has value. They treat it as something rare and unique, say, a fossil, not knowing its true value, mm. its true nature. I believe someone like yourself could trade for it, or at the very least, trade up to it. Hypothetically, of course. And if you did hypothetically succeed in possessing such a dice, well, I'd be interested. And I'd make it worth your while. Worth your while, indeed. Oh, go goodness. You can't, child. But you can trade with me. That's all I'm asking. I've told you all I can. Oh, except... Except that I've heard whispers that someone is buying words. And someone else is selling them. And that would be where I'd start. Okay. Make yourself useful, child. Trade and trade until, before you know it, you've got your hands on one of those dangerous, awful, deadly dice. And then, you give it to me, and I will take care of it. Hmm. So I think this is the last guy we need Quiet to talk to. Down. I'm old enough. You can't hear that, can't you? That noise! Uh, dang it. I'm trying to sleep. And that blabbed bloob is up on my roof making a ruckus. Hmm. Lady, you'd do an old man's heart good if you could see your way to clearing those dang bloobs off my roof. All I want to do is nap. I'm old. I've spent more hours awake than anyone, and I deserve some moments of blessed unconsciousness. Quiet unconsciousness. You'll help me, won't you? I'll reward you or something. Thank you, little one. You made an old man's heart want to fill with hope. Which will happen as soon as this old man's ears are no longer filled with cotton to keep that darn noise down! Please don't dawdle now. I'm very old. You dang little blue critter! Alright. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, 
Hello. And see, there we go. Whoo! Computer angle. Come on. There we go. There we go. Thank you, little one. Nice. Thank you. Ooh, another one of these. Nice. Well, have you gotten the ingredients yet? Oh, it's uh, no good without all three. Uh, go find more, please. I need all of them. It's logical for you to do so. For me, obviously. Alright, so we got our first bloob. We need to... You see, I already had a hint that, like, you know, I need to talk to the word lady. Hey, here's a free sample. My rarest word? Ha, huh, that's a tall order. Um, what do you have to offer in trade? I'm listening. How does a small girl like you know an adult word like that? Adlubescence. Oh, learning it is a pleasure. The breath of the essence sound, the mouth feel of Adlu. Oh, the rarity of it. Oh, oh, this is a word I can definitely sell. Tell you what, I'll give you a great word in exchange to Oblectament. Oblectament. Close. Oblectament. It means a source of delight. Oblectament. For example, learning adlubescence is an oblectament. Oblectament. Thank you again, kid. I it's like it. It's been a Obluctimate. pleasure doing business with you. Bye. Beautiful. Use it well, kid. It's a hard business to be in selling words. Oblectament. But lucky for me, I have lots of ways oh, to precisely express just how hard it is. Ah, up there, I'm guessing. And that's the third bloob. Here we go. Not the one. You wouldn't happen to have a word now that's interesting i've never traded in words before this could be a whole new marketplace what's the word oh <gasps> that is a beautiful word a blectament i would like some more blectament please yes it is a good word and that means it has value 
Any anything with value I can trade. Oh, this is going to be great! Let me compensate you for that word by giving you a gobble, Gregor, in exchange. They're very futuristic. Perfect. We have a deal. Enjoy it, and be sure not to gobble Greg too much on your first go. Great, kid. Hmm. One could gobble Greg anything with this baby. One could also trade it in the cellar street for something valuable. Huh. Where's the... I guess be up here, maybe? Trump, get your fresh yep, there it is. It's up here. Okay. Lots of money in this place to get more cards. This is awesome. Please trade the gobble Gregor to me. I'm sure this skull I'm offering is invaluable. It must be. It's darn old. Thank you. Here, have this uh, fossilized skull, I think. Strangely four sided. It must have come from some sort of ancient extinct animal. Big Red dug it up a while back before. Uh, Forget it, it's not important. But this has got to be the rarest thing in all of Two Town. Thanks, kid. Ooh. That is an old dice. An old, long dead dice destroyed in the purge of the No Dice War. Lisbeth would want to see this. Okay, cool. What's down here? Oh, yeah, I think this just takes us right back down. already inserted herself into the lives of the twins quite enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Words for sale. Who wants to buy a word? Here's one for free. Sit. Remember, you did say you'd give them to me. Thank you! Oh, thank you! Oh, I just need to mix them together and down the hatch. <sighs> okay. I I feel strange. Oh, oh, this is intense! Perfect! It's just me! For the first time, it's just me! Thank you for this. Let me give you something in exchange for all of this. It's my partner's personality, distilled down to its purest essence. I hope it treats you well. You know what? By the cards, I think I'm actually going to miss him. So quiet without him in my head, I may actually miss him already. He'd say that's only logical. Isn't that funny? It's funny, isn't it? <laughs> Nice. Let's go back this way. I 
Not you, but you're the bloob. Impossible! Let me see that. By the card makers themselves, this is a dice. Or rather, it was a dice. If I had such power, child, I wouldn't be lurking here, talking to strangers. No, no, it wasn't me. The queen destroyed all the dice, child. Well, almost. I want to say thank you, child. It's been so long since I've seen a dice, even one that's dead like this. That alarms you, doesn't it? Yes, dice can die. We found that out in the No Dice War. It was a catastrophe. The Queen, child decided that she should be the only one to wield the dice. Mm -hmm. And so, she waged war on them, and on those who'd wield them. And she did not show mercy in victory. If, when, she finds out there's still a dice, and still a wielder, well, she will be apoplectic, and she is not to be toyed with. What happened here? She'll do to you and your friend here. It's not a threat, little one. It's an observation, gleaned from hard-earned experience. Hypothetically speaking, that is. Hmm. But don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. As for this poor dice, I'm going to return it to where it belongs, to the sacred valley of the dice. I have. It used to be so different. There are some of us who remember the old ways, child. We must stay hidden, and we must stay silent. But we exist. The valley is hidden, far below random, and far from the Queen's prying eyes. It's a crypt, a land of the dead, forbidden to all but a few will remember. I, wager, you don't fully know what you travel with. I'm glad to hear it. I hope you are. Goodbye, child. Take care and random rules. Good luck, dice with And you too, little dice. Okay, anybody can help me with this pip? Let's buy some more cards and then I don't know what to do next after that.
Summon a king's mighty fist, dealing a righteous smack to any- Yeah! Let's do that. Alright. From now on, your deck will stay exactly 15 cards. You can modify your deck in the card binder screen. Cool! Alright, so how do I... Open the gate to freedom. The other two towns. Despite being in a curious new part of random, even had once again the counter of mysterious acquaintances from one cloth, the spirit who just messed her away. Could it lead her to odd? So I did that. Yeah, open the gate to freedom. So I've done everything else, so... Look in. That door won't open unless Dicey has a third bit, which he does not. nothing else around here thank you again you'll come back to visit me won't you it's so quiet here all by myself so lonely you even start to miss logic More money. You definitely won't talk to me anymore? No. Nope. Uh, all this tunus reminds me of Odd. I promise you, sister, I am coming for you. Oh, here we she go. looked up, even began to realize the two towns' name was easily twice as literal as she'd suspected. They seemed to be constructing a second town. <laughs> I've had enough of this job. Ouch. What are you? Okay. <laughs> Someone so small. I'm not small. You're a big clumsy giant who goes around sitting on my friends. Again, I, I apologize. It, it was an accident. <sighs> All right, apology accepted. Look, I'm trying to find my sister. I've got to get through that big old door. Name Seymour. I haven't seen your sister though. The thing is, I don't see too much of anything these days. And not since the nanny confiscated most of my eyes. Two of them for two town, she said. The nanny Fortuna is the right hand of the queen, and has been for years. She's as mean as she is old. And let's just say she doesn't take kindly to people borrowing her super pricey mechanical spider wagon. <laughs> uh, anyway, 
Once she gave my eyes to the mayor, they disappeared. I haven't heard any news about them since. Seems like we both have a reason not to like her. <laughs> the Civil War and freedom, you know, tried to desert it and got sentenced for treason. I wasn't doing any good there anyway. <laughs> I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> not enough about that. What's up with this? Dice! I haven't seen a real one in years! I see you're missing a couple of pips, little one. If you're gonna go anywhere. You are new, aren't you? The uh, door to Three Towns Forever Locked uh, keeps the district separate by order of the Queen. You'd need to roll a three to open it. And since nobody has a dice anymore, well, they stay closed. But your little friend's so close to three. I could fix you, but... But I can't. Not unless I get my missing eyes back. Oh, if only a brave <laughs> dice wielder would Another favor for another person. So surprising. Quest to find and return my eyes. <sighs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm certain the nanny passed my eyes onto the mayor. Of course, if she'd given them the right mayor getting them back would be easy but she gave them to that upside down one Ugh, what a nightmare <laughs> oh that's a good one <laughs> listen even if things were that easy do you think we'd all be here heck no we'd all be in six town living the high life relaxing by uh, by Whatever it is that six towners relax by, a pool of gold, probably. <laughs> Sadly, it's not that easy, even. Especially not since that nanny has given my eyes to that nightmare of a mayor. So, yeah, find my eyes, and I can definitely help you. So, you'll help out old Seymour? Thank you, thank you. Be careful with that two faced mayor. Okay. If you need me, I'll be over at the town square, near the door to freedom. Oh, it's a bad place. It's one of the six towns, one for each side of the Queen's Black Dice. We used to be united, but that was generations ago. Before the No Dice War, Random has seen a lot of war. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, don't get me started, kiddo. Yeah, the town's being ruined by a family of triplets. It's petty sibling rivalry on a humongous destructive scale. With no end in sight. Even decided that she felt a kinship with this sad large monster. He'd been hurt by the same people who took her sister. She had the sense she was the only one who could help him. And she had the sense Seymour could end up helping her too. Okay. All right. Well. Let's go meet the mayor, y'all. Let's get into Three Town. Okay. Sounds like kind of sounds like the Jawas from Star Wars. <laughs> oh, oh my! That is a mm, giant. Low down there. That I am. Well, one of them at least. Uh, a new young lady, are uh, well met, even. At last, even had arrived at the mayor of Two Town. The administrator of this land, and the alleged thief of Seymour's eyes. Or at least, even had arrived at his lower extremities. What brings you to my office today, Ethan? 
You're trying to blind your mister with your swollen thighs. Mine a twister for some colon guys. Grind your... Uh, why don't you take the elevator and step into my office, even? It'll be easier to talk. downtown a shining city in the sky hmm. yes yes hello Step into my office, such as it is. Don't mind the thing sticking out of my hat. He's... How best to explain this? I had a lot on my mind about this upside downtown project. It was starting to get out of hand, and then one day he was just there. I've always been here. Right. We'd better keep our voices down, even. If we are to keep this conversation away from his ears. I'm sure you notice the changes here even. Our personality is becoming personified now. That's what Royam is. He's growing out of my hat and I don't know how to stop him. I don't know how to fix this town even. And I don't know why I'm telling you this. Oh, I suppose you just have a face one can trust. In any case, what brings you to the mayor today? What's that little girl? You want to know how our first past the post democratic system works? Why, I'd be happy to explain it in tremendous detail beginning now. Okay, I think that warded him off. That thing growing out of my hat has a name. Royam. What? Oh, I never thought of that. Anyway, Royam <laughs> is my opposite side. He's much more um, self-assured than I am, which normally would be great. But the things he's doing, I don't know if I can support them. Well, for starters, he's wasting precious time and people on this upside-down project. Secondly, he is bat-dung mad as a hatter and he <laughs> freaks me out personally. He's my opposite, but at the end of the day, that's the grand thing about Two Town, isn't it? Everyone's got their other half. It's just like breathing to us. Mostly like breathing. Oh, that's, um, that's the Queen's idea. She wants us to build a second two town. Duality and all that. Hmm. It'll be glorious, of course. Everything the Queen does is glorious. But, uh, well, it just seems to be that it's taking its time to get to that glory and, well, never mind. I'm speaking out of turn. Right. Queens always know best. I should stop worrying about it. It, uh, it is, yes. It didn't used to be this way. Truth be told, the tuness in this town can be a little tiring. Everyone being split into dual personalities is what makes us two we are. But building a second city. Exactly. 
At hmm. its best, it is a mad experiment to test my patience, keeping half of the citizenry occupied with useless work while the rest of my town stagnates. Hmm. Oh, but look at myself lose my temper again. We must Sorry, trust in the Queen's grand plan for us all, and our noise. duty to ensure that what she wants happens. In the end, it is all fair, even. Random rules. Hmm. No, I'm afraid not. You're the first tourist we've had in quite some time. Have you considered spending some time in currency down the wonderful Cellar Street? Oh, good. As mayor, I expect that should make me happy. We've got a new slogan, you know, straight from Nani Fortuna. It's two town where the fun is doubled. So mm -hmm. twice the fun. That's something to look forward to. <laughs> I wish it were that easy, even, but... But I'm just the mayor, and she's the queen! I'm simply not a man of action, even. Not anymore. There's nothing I can do. That's very kind, but please, don't. I don't want anyone mad at me, especially not the queen. Nor the Nanny Fortuna, nor my mother, for that matter. Oh, bless her soul. I'm... I'm afraid not even. Despite my title, I'm in no position to help you. But... Well, if you dared, you could try talking to Royan directly. I shouldn't even be mentioning his name, but, well, you need my help. This is all I can do. I suspect he knows more than he lets on. I'm lowering an elevator for you, even. It's your choice. And good luck. Alright. Here, let's get... These have been driving me mad, like that one and that one over there. Oh. Let me see if there's any others. The whole time we were talking, I'm like, I want just to hit those so I can get money. Okay, I don't see any more. Okay. Let's go talk to Royem. Probably getting an epic battle. <laughs> Greetings, my name is Royan, and I'm in charge. You know I'm the boss because I'm so. Uh... I was about to say that. That's my rhyme. You're very rude to point out my struggle. As mayor, I've got lots of priorities to... Uh, <sighs> Stop interrupting me, I almost have it! Ah! Him, the mayor, don't make me laugh. He's less than the smallest member of my... Yes, I was about to say that. You have met but an idiotic fool. I'm surprised he's not covered in his own... <laughs> Look, you've broken my flow and made me stop rhyming. I'm busy with the construction of my masterpiece, my legacy, my gift to random of that wondrous second moon, and you're interrupting me. What do you want? Why should I deal with you? I am the designer, builder, overseer of the new two town. The better one. Much better than the one that idiot mayor oversees. 
You want your friend's eyes back, don't you? Good. Very good. There's something you need to know. Here's how this is going to go. There, you see? My rhymes are getting better. I'm struggling with my poem about the moon, and I'd like to have it done real, real quickly. You know what? That gives me a thought. I'll give you the eyes, but you'll have to do... Ah, uh, yes, yes, that's it precisely. Just teach me how to rhyme. In a nice manner. Here's my offer. Take it or leave. Bring me a perfect poem about the moon and I'll grant you Seymour's eyes. Ah, oh, you are good. Yes, that's the deal we have struck. Go find rhymes, and I wish you... I'll think of it eventually. Get to it before I change my mind. It's only temporarily that our interests are... parallel to each other. My origins are as amazing as they are obscure. All you need to know is that I am a successful... Stop interrupting my poetry! Farewell, young stranger, and let me give you some advice well earned. Stay out of my way and you won't get... cooked. I was about to say that. Hmm. It was a mad quest for an insane, upside-down mayor. But it was all even had to go on. There were some particular propaganda posters hanging on the walls. Perhaps those could be of inspiration. Oh, here we go. They said it wasn't possible. They said it was a lie. Meet Miss Mystique. From Papo's Wild Circus, the woman with three personalities. Hmm. Miss? I could use that word. Huh. Ooh, yeah. More money, bring me the money. Oh, yay, another poster. A good night's sleep is every evening's prize. Sleep twice as well when you wear sleeping eyes. Sleeping eyes? Yeah, I like the sound of that. Is on schedule, of course. I really like the voice of Royan. What a creepy, just slithering kind of voice. It is awesome. But very Tim Burton as well. I hope Tim Burton knows the talent of Royan because, my goodness, he could probably use it. My workers are building at a terrific rate. If you ask me, I think that's great. It's nice to see them finally put in there. Try to hear for a new one with me. Oh, many dicks. Okay, I won't go to you yet. Oh, hello.
Let's see, what do we have? We have a two, all right. helping me at all. Do this one. This is awesome, y'all. Come here. Dude, this is like... I love that hammer, y'all. That was so cool. All right.
game. these flying things man they're so annoying Got one of them down. Alright, let's see. Oh, really? Okay, two. That works. Oh, yeah! Come here, y'all. It's glitching, it won't let me do it. <laughs> Maybe I can get around that. Ugh. I'll take it. Here, let's get another one. There we go. Yes! Give me the hammer! Oh, come on! Oh my goodness, this battle is never ending. Oh my gosh. Ugh.
course he gave me one. Finally, good grief. Oh, that was like the f never ending battle. Oh, my disgrace! I was pinned down by those, those vile machines, but now they're scrap. <laughs> so, thank you. The name's Big Red. Even, huh? Well, you're big even to me now. Big's an honorific, you know. Big Red and Big Even. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, kid. What brings you up here to this... this horrible place, Big Even? Afraid I can't help with either of those, but I got a life here. Precious little life, but it's mine. And now that I can move freely again, I think I'm gonna head back down to Two Town. See, I have this brother, named the Little Joe. That's him. Looks just like me. Only he's a jerk. Well, he was going to work up here, but I got sent here instead. He made some sort of deal. Little Joe tricked me. His own twin sister. So now he's down there, and I'm stuck up here, and I hate every minute of it. Oh, I was, for sure. And I was of two minds about it for a long time. But now I'm just tired. I know what he did was wrong. And I know he knows it, too. He probably feels really guilty about it. But I don't want revenge. I just want to leave. I just want to go home. And now I can! Thank you! You've really made a difference in my life, Big Even. Oh, please, take this. It's my way of saying thanks. I'm finally free! Oh, cool. Listen to Crooner Harry Harry's new double-length record. Inspired by the new moon of Two Town, it's twice as good as his last album. Croon. That, that's a nice poetic word. Alright, let's keep finding more inspirations. Somewhere. This is very like Star Wars where you get like different languages. Defy 
gets very bored. I feel like this language is a lot longer than the English words. Alright. There's one. All is going according to plan. I truly am Toontown's greatest. A feast for the senses, a balm for the body, a spiritual bouquet? You simply have to try Crazy Cryptid's Chopped Cheese Blue. Now half price every second Tuesday. Huh. Spiritual bouquet. It's a nice turn of phrase. There. Even had all the material she needed to face Royum in a battle of rhymes. But did she have the skill? Master's well, there was only one way to find out. What are you doing here? This is an active construction site. We have work to do here, kid. It doesn't matter what your name is. You can't be here, kid. Look, we're all under a tight schedule here. I can't stop work just to escort you home. So, if you, if you, if you, if you promise not to die or otherwise interfere with our work here, I, I'll answer some questions for you, okay? But by the card makers, we can't have kids wandering around an active work site. Come on, get going, before my other side pitches in on what to do about you. Here you All our raw materials come from one Croft Junkers. As bad as it is to be forced to hang upside down and work high above the ground, at least we don't have it as bad as those one-towners, right? Well, that's our mail. Well, part of it, anyway. Orium's been the driving force behind this, you know, Implementing the Queen's orders. I don't trust the man, but orders are orders, and uh, everyone who's questioned Royum has, uh, well, let's just say we're all afraid of heights. You're the first kid I've seen here on uh, what, again, I feel I must stress is an active construction site. You'd better be, kid. Can't rightly say that I have. You missing some? <laughs> I'll keep a lookout, kid. Sorry about your friend. Do you know it took him? Oh, wouldn't surprise me at all. I trust that monster about as far as I can throw it. And you may have noticed he's a giant that I can throw approximately zero centimeters. So, be safe out there, even. I mean it. You're on a construction site. No, hold on. Come on, get going before my other side pitches in on what to do about you. All right. Hmm. Can I get it from here? No, I'm gonna have to wait. Build, build my city in the sky. Go on, don't be shy. We need a new city that's way up at a significant height. Let's see, I think there was one more spot I wanted to go. This way, no. Where was it? Was it this way? Oh yeah, I've already talked to him. Okay, so I went around the whole circle. She wasn't sure if she was ready. But on the other hand, she wasn't at all certain she'd ever be. So she did the only thing she could. She went for it. This is it, even. It all comes down to this. If you come at me with a moon poem, you better not. Perfect, yes. Let us begin. We shall pluck the wings from painted butterflies to fan the moonbeams from two towns. 
Yes. Ooh, I like that very much. Let's proceed. And we shall be made minions of the moon who look forward to everything the mayor does. Yes, there's no rule that says a poem can talk up the poet's son. Well done. Now, last verse. And we shall always swear by the two moons, for they change each day. The upside down town is the only place that offers such a... Such perfect rhymes. What a perfect moon. I think... I think I have it, yes. Well done, little poet. You have earned yourself quite a moon. Oh, I am constantly growing, building my body to become a real being. Poetry, on the other hand, this is what will truly separate me from my shallow other side. Oh, but of course, I promise you I will dig into that matter. Meanwhile, I want to give you something else. The highest honor in this land. I grant you access to the second moon's staging grounds. Few have ever had the good fortune to tread on that hallowed ground. Go there, admire it, and then I will give you what you seek. Oh. Construction is on schedule. Of course it is. I'm the best there is in this construction line of employment. Ooh. Beautiful, I guess. In its own sort of strange way. Oh, there it is. Oof. I knew it was somewhere around here. Alright. Oh, I've got a card up my sleeve, in my chest, up my nose, up my. Well, everywhere. Let's. Ooh, yeah. Let's see. What else do we want? Uh... Uh, let's do... This was the famed second moon, Mayor Royam's masterpiece. It was actually kind of. <gasps> Thank you, Cryptic Kami. Yes, it is my birthday. Thank you so much. Yep, I had a pretty good day just relaxed and having fun and spinning it with you guys. It's gonna be one long battle, y'all. The goal of this board game is to reach his final tile with the playing piece, wrecking Royam's moon. Three arenas must be beaten in order to reach the end. Sometimes a card will appear, spawning an adversary and blocking your playing piece advance. The card is removed once his adversary has been defeated. Okay. Step on this platform and you'll receive a bow of one. 
or bring the playing piece to this tile and a flock of bomb carrying birds will fly over the arena. They drop their bombs either if you're under them or if you shoot them. The playing piece is blocked by an adversary. Destroy the adversary to advance. Okay. Whoa. Those little ones, like, kind of remind me of Halo. Like, those, like, little alien creature things. Do that one. I got the hammer, y'all. I love that thing to death. All right. I couldn't use the hammer. I want to keep that one. All right. Where are you? Oh, um. Ah! Ah! I didn't dodge quick enough. There we go. Why does that one just keep coming? The playing piece has opened a doorway. 
Oh, finally. I was like, oh my gosh, what in the world? This is crazy, y'all.
Oh. that That was not even near long enough.
has been defeated. The playing piece can now advance. Okay, let's see. This done, y'all. Opening has been opened. She had broken the moon, and that somehow Mayor Royam wasn't too happy about that. Oh, feeling confirmed. <laughs> oh, boy. Even what did you do? At one moment, Royam was a part of me, overseeing the construction. And in the next, he tore himself free and went off howling at the moon. There's no saying what he's capable of now that he's free from my influence. Then it is very good luck for us, dear child, that you escaped with your life. Be very careful, even. I don't know what happens next. We're in uncharted territory here. Whatever you do, be careful. Well, all right then, y'all. All right, so I feel like this is nowhere. I I was hoping. Oh, thank you, Cryptic. Sorry, I was really paying attention to that battle. I didn't see your message. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I feel like that this is going to still take some time, and I actually have to head to bed um, because, well, kiddos wake up super early. But, oh my gosh. Oh,
fears.